Hi guys, uh, in this example uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, converting between pressure units. Now um, what we have here is a road bicycle tire is inflated to a total pressure of 138 psi. What is the pressure in millimeters mercury? So one good way to go about this is to draw yourself up a plan. How are you going to get from PSI to millimeters mercury. We're starting at PSI. We have to go through atmospheres. To connect to millimeters mercury. That being said, we're starting here with 138 psi. Now, these values that I'm going to be uh, using, I have a conversion chart, and um, you can pick up any of these conversion charts if you don't have any um, at a college, uh, any uh, chemistry department that you have access to that maybe can uh, give you one online. There's uh, many places where you can get yourself a conversion chart uh, for a lot of different units. Uh, back to here. Well, we started off at 138 psi. Uh, we need to go to atmospheres now. Now, one atmosphere is 14.7 psi. Next we have one atmosphere is 760 millimeters mercury. And you can see the, the pathway of how I get to millimeters mercury. PSI and PSI reduce. Atmosphere is the same. And now I'm left with millimeters mercury. Now, let me do this calculation. I end up with 7,000. 134.69 millimeters mercury. Now there's uh, different ways that um, an instructor will want you to write down this final value. Um, it might just be a personal preference to them some would like it to stay like this or some want it in scientific notation so um, if I leave this in three significant figures I get 7.13 times 10 to the third and my units And there is how you convert PSI to millimeters mercury.